and in between double quotes and then I will say this I will give this ampersand sign and in here I'm going to give my text box for username name so my text box name for username is text box un so I will just paste it here dot t text okay and once again I will write a query so I will write here after this single quotation I will write and password is equal to single quotes and in between double quotation and ampers this and sign and then in between I will once again give the name of my password text box here so just paste it here password dot text okay so this is the query I have written just provide the space between this ampersand and this between this and sign and between your text box password dot text so now the full query is like this I have written select star from your database name dot edata where your username is equal to in single quotes and in between double quotes and this and sign just write the name of your username text box dot text and once again after closing this uh, single quotes and double quotes just write and password is equal to in the same way single quote double quote and this end sign and in between write text box pass which is for password dot text so basically what this will do is it will take that username and password from the text boxes and validate it against your database right and what I will do here is I will copy this string from here and pass it as a first argument of this mysql command and the second argument for this mysql command is this connection from here okay so first argument is the query and second argument is the connection with the database now I need to read the data from the database for that I will declare a mysql reader so here I will write or I will go at the top and declare this reader so just below your command declaration just write dim reader as my SQL my SQL data reader okay so just just declare this uh, mysql data reader variable here and just copy this reader from here and just below your connection is equal to new connection and connection string declaration just write reader is equal to new mysql data reader okay okay so this is giving me some error I think this is not accessible from outside this sub so I will declare it as a local so just cut this code for reader and just declare it here so just write dim reader as mysql reader in your login button click event now just copy this reader from here reader which is a object of mysql reader and after this command declaration just paste your reader and just write 
reader is equal to copy this command variable dot execute reader okay now what this will do is it will execute this command and read the data from the database now we get the database data from the database now we need to segregate the data if this data is uh, valid then we will say the login is successful or otherwise the login is not successful so i will declare an integer which will count the number of data so i will write dim count as integer and count is equal to zero for initialization okay now i will declare a while loop so i will write while and in this while loop first of all give the condition so i will say reader dot next or reader dot read first so in this while loop what i will do is i will count the number so i will say just count is equal to count plus 1 okay now outside this while loop i will give some if conditions so i will write if my count is equal to 1 then and then i need to give one more condition so i will write else if and i need to give one more condition for else okay so else if count is greater than 1 then and else whatever is the result i will show here so i will say if my count is equal to 1 i will show the result in the message box dot show that my connection is successful so i will say user name and password are correct okay in the same way when i will just copy this message box message here when my count is greater than 1 then i will say username and password are duplicate okay because there are more than one data present or more than one username and password present which is a duplicate username and password else i will say username and password are not correct okay so this is basically the code for the login page now i will run the program and i will validate my data so let me open my mysql database and in this i have this e data and i have this username and password fields from here so for example i will write this username which is 2 and password which is 2 i am trying to i will try to validate this username and password from here so i will write here 2 and 2 and validate so i will click this login button and it's saying database dot e data doesn't exist because i think my spelling of the database is incorrect so let me correct my database spelling really quick this should be not data b e s e but data b a s e so now the spelling is correct 
once again I will run the program I will write username and password and login and now it says username and password is correct because it validates this username and password from here and it shows the result username and password is correct now in my database I have some duplicate entries also which is username and password 5 for employee ID 5 also and I have username and password 5 for employee ID 6 also so this is duplication of username and password because this username and password is present two times in two different places or two different rows so when I give 5 here 5 and 5 username and password 5 then when I click this login button it says username and password are duplicate because the query found more than one result for this username and password right and if I enter some random username and password and try to validate it it says me username and password are not correct so in this way you can create a login page which uh, validates your username and password from the database using your visual basic windows form application project in the next videos i will also show you how to open the new uh, form when your username and password is correct and how to hide this password from the user so stay tuned